Coming into today's video, I just want to do an update on the very significant rainfall event that could be on the way tonight and tomorrow across some parts of the British Isles. Now, it's very hard to pin down exactly where the worst of the rain is going to be. Yesterday, when I did the five-day forecast, looked where the worst rain would be Lincolnshire, Yorkshire, Northern England. Uh, it's trended a bit further south, though, over the last uh, few uh, model runs. And now it's looking more as though it's going to be an event for the Midlands, uh, parts of Wales, still perhaps up into North West England, but really the Midlands, East Anglia, parts of Wales could get some really significant rain. But there's still time for this to shift around and uh, models to uh, change the exact track of the rainfall. Anyway, have a look at it in a moment. Uh, here's the uh, facts chart, first of all, just to put it put all in context, show you what's happening. Um, this is for midnight tonight. This is the uh, human interpretation by forecast of the uh, Met Office of the uh, Global Compute Models. Uh, we've got this little front here at midnight tonight. That could just be producing some thundery showers and thunderstorms across the evening this afternoon. But the real troublemaker is actually uh, just to the east there over the low countries as we run uh, through into uh, lunchtime on Friday. We can see that that little low has formed uh, quite a major area of low pressure just off the coast of East Anglia, actually around the wash. And the fronts are moving in from the east. Now, if you follow the, line, the ice bars back, the lines back, you can see that uh, the winds are actually going into Russia. So, um, if this was winter, this would be one of the situations where you could get a huge amount of snow actually from the east. Of course, not winter, it's summer, so we're looking at really heavy rain. Um, there's going to be humid air associated with this low pressure, so uh, the potential there for some really heavy and torrential rainfall in that humid air. So that's the uh, facts chart for lunchtime tomorrow. Uh, the low pressure is moving in from the east, forming quite a major feature. As we go into midnight on Saturday, then the low pressure is moving out in towards the Irish Sea and taking the worst of that rain with it. We've got a weather front left trailing across northern uh, England into North Wales, but the rain by then will be starting to ease down with the worst of the uh, torrential rain moving away into the Irish Sea. So this is how the NAE model sees things developing. This is from Weather Online. You can find Weather Online uh, on my links page. Uh, go to the links page. You'll see the link for Weather Online. You can see uh, these NAE charts yourself. These are the uh, charts that the BBC use. They're Met Office charts, actually. They're charts that the BBC use for their uh, precipitation uh, forecast. So you'll be seeing this modified. Um, into a form that the BBC used later on today. So this is uh, the uh, chart for midnight tonight from the NAE model, the precipitation chart. We can see there's not much going on really. We've got some heavy rain starting to move into the southeast. The last of the thundery showers and thunderstorms dying out across eastern England. But once we get to six o'clock in the morning, we can see that this line of very heavy rain has developed, stretching from northern Kent through in towards southern parts of East Anglia and then on into the central southern and eastern Midlands and then through towards North Wales. This line is going to be a heavy rain, torrential rain eventually and possibly even some rumbles of thunder mixed in. So once we get through to lunchtime on uh, Friday the NAE model has some really heavy rain going on there across East Anglia ring towards the central East Midlands. Of course it's the first day of the Qualifying at British Grand Prix at Silverstone tomorrow. This is implying that it could be a complete washout tomorrow at Silverstone. Um, that rain then extends through into the West Midlands and through in towards Wales. So it's actually broadened out a bit by this point, the uh, rainfall. And that's as this low pressure is moving in uh, from the east. And then once we get through towards 6 o'clock in the evening, the rain then is uh, moving towards West Midlands, Central Southern West Midlands, and really uh, affecting Wales. Some very heavy rainfall there across central and northern and mid Wales uh, through into those Irish Sea coasts and heading off in towards Iron Bay at times. Starting to dry out on this eastern side of England and by the time we get through to midnight the worst of the rain then is moving away in towards the Irish Sea coasts, uh, clearing Wales, it's turned dry across the Midlands and we've still got that weather front producing a band of rain across northern England but it shouldn't be uh, too bad. So this is the 
total precipitation accumulation that the NAE model is predicting once we get through uh, towards uh, tomorrow uh, night, midnight on Friday night, Saturday morning. Um, we're seeing huge precipitation totals here. Anything from around 30 millimetres up to around 80 millimetres is possible in this big uh, wide zone here, stretching from mid and north Wales down in towards the Midlands and through into parts of East Anglia and uh, then down in towards the South East England. I think Kane Tatchy misses the worst of this, but if this trains any further southwards, it will bring in Kane, Sussex and those London uh, home counties uh, areas. So it's still just about in the clear on this at the moment, not getting too much, but if this was to trend any further southwards, then it's bringing London uh, into the firing line. Finally, having a look at the GFS model, see what uh, that's predicting. This was the model going for the rain to be across the northern England mainly uh, yesterday. We can see that at midnight time, there's the rain starting uh, to get going into the far southeast, and then once we get through to uh, lunchtime, on a Friday, that rain's become really heavy, and it's really uh, sitting across the Midlands. Uh, the Midlands really in the firing line. Not too bad in the far south, but there will be some rain into the southeast. But it's really again uh, very similar to the NAE model: East Anglia, the Midlands, in towards central northern and mid Wales. Uh, that area could get anything between around 30 millimetres, possibly uh, up to around 70, 80 millimetres in some places. That's over three inches of rain falling in a very short space of time. It would, of course, give us the risk of some flooding. And then as we go towards uh, uh, Friday evening, look how heavy that rain's become across Wales and the West Midlands there. Really torrential rainfall there. Um, obviously, the risk of flooding with that would be very serious indeed. And then finally, that rain clears away to the west once we get through to uh, midnight Friday into Saturday. So, I think as we sum it all up, really, there's still question marks about this. There is question marks about where exactly the heaviest of the rain will be. It's trended southwards. There's still time for it to trend back north again, or it could have trended even further southwards at the moment. Uh, Kent, Sussex and uh, London isn't too badly in the fire line. The home county should miss just about the worst of the conditions, but will get some uh, rain. But at the moment, the heaviest rain is really uh, for East Anglia, the Midlands, uh, central northern Wales, Lincolnshire as well, getting some very heavy rain, anything from 30, 40, 50 millimetres of rain, very widely, some places, uh, Welsh mountains for instance, perhaps getting up to 80 millimetres of rain, that's over 3 inches of rain, will give us some very serious flooding problems. But I say, this isn't pinned down yet, I don't think this could uh, change. If it does, I might do another update later for you if uh, the position of this changes. But at the moment, we are looking at a very significant rainfall event for East Anglia, the Midlands and Wales, Lincolnshire as well. That's it for now. Thanks for watching.